Are you recording? <laughs> yeah, we're recording now. All right, this hey, is the, the pool for <laughs> Dark Illusions. Dark Illusions. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we deem viable in this box. Um, even though these are just really all the pools. <laughs> so, is this really the whole pool? These, is all, these are all the pools. Oh wow, so majority pool is viable? Um, I wouldn't say... Except for... I was missing Ultra. This... Uh... That... Oh no, no, it's not. It's right that... Actually, yeah, all this shit over here. This, actually, this stuff's actually, like... Mad. So let, we'll talk about that. See, like, potential cards. Okay, okay, so, so we'll, make a video on that one. we'll start off over here on the left. We'll pull them to the side. Let's talk about combination. You need three of in what deck? Yang Zings. Yang Zing Metaphors. Yang Zing Metaphors is a fucking thing. Because you could end off with like two Boxias, uh, Nova, some other bullshit all at once. And some in brown one substances turn. in your pants. Yeah, so if you want to make your opponent shit themselves, Run three of that. Push All right. It. Push it in. So what's the next one? Uh, let's move on to my mom's new cell. <laughs> Mom, you famous. Mom, we made it. <laughs> you better edit out that number. <laughs> uh, we'll move on to uh, Dark, the Magician of Dark Illusion. Okay, talk about that. Um, I don't know what it does, but everybody's running it at two. So Pretty supposedly, uh, whenever you have a Dark Magician on field, you get to special summon this card from hand. And whenever this card is sent from, is it from field to grave? It searches out a Dark Magician or something like that, right? You could target a Dark Magician in your grave and you can special summon it. Oh, so you get a special summon one from So we can so so either way, three for sevens. So if it's on field or in grave, you can special summon a Dark Magician. Yeah, so okay. pretty much summon this out with a Dark Magician on field. You pull out Ebon, you detach, bring out the Dark Magician, and you have 225s. The Exceed and the regular Dark Magician. And you That's just become pretty magical. broken, dude. Yeah. Is magical become also a big eye? Yeah. Our Drago side. Alright. Yeah. And let's move on to this little Toon Dark Magician. It can special summon Toons from deck, and it doesn't have to wait a turn to attack. Oh, right. nice! So we finally got another Toon that doesn't have to wait on the attack. Yeah. And it can add a Toon Spell or Trap card from deck. Too bad. Nice. Too bad to tune. Oh. Get out of here, dude. This is probably one of the, one of the currently best Toons they have right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Too bad. Too bad. Uh, you are not running with first guys. No, they're not. That's sad. Uh, no one's running Toons. No, yeah. Not yeah. right now. Uh, well, uh, not, not right I now. I still don't think they're gonna right. line up. Blackwing, because they're viable again. And that deck every, will never every die. Every pack will guarantee you one Blackwing card. But I say, of all of the Blackwings, this is the best one because um, whenever your opponent. Yeah. So, Muzi, well, obviously, if you have a Blackwing deck, you're gonna synchro into it. So, with this, if you synchro a Blackwings as materials during the damage step only, this card gains 3,000 attack. Not bad. So, yeah. so this that, is mostly a 6,000 beater. How many stars attack. is that? That's like, what, how many? I think well, it's 10, 12? 2, two man. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, but Imagine the value summon on that thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but it turns, it, into, it turns into whatever level that you target in Grave too. You oh. cut those black wings on And it becomes a turner on field as well. It becomes yeah. a turner on field, and you could target one other um, black wing in Grave, and that card becomes the level of the target monster as well. Jeez. So say, broken. Yeah, so pretty much if you have, like, oh, I don't know, cards in this a Bayou or some shit, it turns into a three, and then it's a tuner's two. Peter much, yeah? Uh, let's see. Let's get let's go. Let's, let's go to Middle Fall Fusion. Yeah, let's go. Let's get the Middle Fall Fusion. All right, you only need to run one of these in the Yang Zing, Zing deck, the Yang Zing Metal Falls, because you get a fuse for what's the what's the common one? Uh, on it. Okay. That one. Hey. You only need two metaphors and it does double piercing at 28. Nice. So you run that at one and you pretty much get that. Now regular metaphors, I don't know, it doesn't seem like regular metaphors are a thing. <laughs> it's not. It's too weak. If it's just pure metaphors, it's too weak. Yeah. But get a busted deck if you if you can find a Yang Zing core again. <laughs> Yeah, for you those, know, the, you know for those that you're for, throwing away. Yeah, for those that just sell it for like five bucks, now they're like what, fifty? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember last year, you know, two dollar, two dollar chi wins and stuff. Start, start yeah. digging in your trash can, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, All right let's, let's go talk for about it. this one. This let's card looks really nice. Terrors. So both this one and the other behemoth, 
whenever they get flipped up, for this one, whenever this one is flipped up, you can target one monster your opponent controls and banish it. And during the end of the turn, you can flip a face back down. Oh, sh are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of concerned. I was like, why is it a flip effect monster? But then, okay. They all flip effect. Yeah. And, and for both behemoths, if you control a face down um, sub terror monster, you can special summon it. That's what's so, going with that guy too, the matching guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a deck that you gotta hold on to. Are you gonna, well, be, are you gonna be that? Are you gonna be that cards guy? You gotta hold on to. Yeah. You can be that guy and run, try to rush it off. Yeah. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait two more packs, and then this card's probably gonna go up to about twenty dollars. And it's an ultra too, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's an ultra. ultra. Right. This, the other behemoth, and that one are the only um, sub zero and, and the fifth card. Yeah, so you only get a one in four chance at pulling this in a in a box. Okay. Well, these I'm really excited to. I'm really excited about these. Don't know what it does though. Oh, the Sphinx? Yeah. That one turns into a beater by... It gains 500 for every uh, field spell in Grave. In Grave or...? In Grave. Oh, and we run nine field cards, don't we? Different names. Oh, yeah, different names. So, it so there's only three of them. There's only three, but it turns into a... What's that? A 4,000? Yeah, 4,000. It gains 500, right? That's ridiculous. Yeah, 500 each, so Five, there's yeah, three different ones. So, 15, yeah. yeah just so, 4K, them. and there's one in... It's a 4K meter. Yeah, there's a one in the deck that when you return a field spell, it gains an extra 500, so it's a 45 meter. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's so your winner. You're just running a deck. Three. You're just in there like you're three. You're three. You just three. You can run three. And you can special summon it easily with the field spell. And I pulled two out of box, so just three, buy two boxes. You already three, got your three. Five K meters? Yeah. That's, really, that's nuts. Oh my god, that's how I was excited to like hear about this card. Alright, so what else we got? Spyro. That's my favorite card. Oh my god, this card. This